in 2004 from the house of IFCL, a brand that has given us hotels like Taj and Vivanta, came Ginger Hotels. And though it was perceived as a business hotel initially, it was in 2018 when it took a turn towards being lean luxury. And now with 371 keys at this newly opened up Ginger near Mumbai International Airport, this one is the biggest of its kind. With a sports bar, an all-day diner and other such amenities, Ginger Hotels aims to target consumers of all ages and backgrounds. Recently, the project Avhan was launched, which is a three-pronged strategy to grow profitably. How is that coming along? Avhan actually we announced uh, last year in May uh, and it was our guidance to for the period till FY26. Maybe if you look at three parts of that strategy, one was to take our portfolio to 300 hotels and we're actually pacing ahead of that. We're already 285 and there's still another two years to go. So we're quite confident that uh, that particular metric will be met before time. Uh, the second was to maintain a nil debt uh, status and that continues to be the case. Uh, the third aspect of our one was to also look at a 33% EBITDA margin at IHCL Consolidated. So we just announced our uh, quarter results and nine months uh, period we are at a 32.7% EBITDA margin. So I would say that uh, we are either pacing ahead or we are on our guidance for our one. Great. I'd quickly like to ask you, when there are uh, locations like Lakshadweep, Andaman, Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, uh, it, like you said, every district has some Taj property. What challenges do you see in your particular role into selecting these locations, especially when it's such a wide range of locations? So, challenges to find the right location in those places, the right partner who is ready to work with you and invest and then execution eventually, getting the project ready uh, within the shortest possible time and within the cost because because all of these take a lot of efforts and it's quite an elaborate process of you know getting approvals, planning, design and constructing. So, so these are you know some of the challenges but I must say uh, the pace at which we are growing and the kind of development we are doing, I think we have pretty much got ourselves organized to do it at the, the best possible speed and the best way that anybody can build hotels. So I'd like to ask uh, you of the new uh, gingers that are opening up yeah. or even with uh, new properties under IHCL, how much, how much of it is under the light asset model? Right. So like if you look at this year, we'll just take this year as an example. We are set to open 20 hotels. We've already opened 16. Out of these 20, I can say clearly 19 of them are on an asset light management contract model. One of them, which is this hotel, is something that we have built on our own. Going forward next year, most of the hotels that we're opening under the Taj, Vivanta and selections will continue to be led by management contracts. There are some next year as well, which are our own properties or our lease properties, like a Taj in Cochin, which is coming up. Uh, for Ginger, it will be majorly operating leases that we will open next year. Very few management contracts lined up. Talking about new locations where Taj is going, one of the hottest locations that we all heard about was Lakshadweep. How is that coming about? What's the strategy? And any other location you're looking at? So Lakshadweep is a hot, hot uh, destination today. It's like the, uh, the new Maldives of India, if I may say that, uh, or, or better. Uh, so, so for us, um, I see as being part of the Tata group, we are known to be pioneers and we create new destinations. Uh, we opened Andamans, right, with the first uh, Taj there in Andaman in uh, uh, Radhanagar Beach in Havelock. So for us, Lakshadweep is a great crown, uh, a jewel in our crown and this will be a fantastic uh, hotel, a luxury hotel that we'll create on two of the islands in Lakshadweep the Suheli and Kadmat, and this will be the first eco-sensitive resort because we want to, while we want to uh, explore the destination, you don't want to leave a huge footprint on the uh, very fragile island. So, so it's a very interesting uh, project that we have embarked upon.